you spent a lot of time sculpting your character and you did a really good job but now it's a long process to first retopo then unwrap and then do the texture painting but you need a quick result so for this thing we have vertex painting this method we can actually texture our model without doing the retopo and the uv unwrap the brush have a similar tool named with pulley painting and in the blender we have vertex painting so for further detail let's start the video okay so we are here at blender screen and we would select all and delete that and we would start for a dummy project so we would add a monkey head and we would be trying the first tools on this one so the plan is to first learn all the tools that we have in the vertex paint and after that we would go for an exercise and some cool tips and tricks so i just added a monkey head and i can go to the texture paint or any of the window uh, just change the object mode into vertex paint and we can join this area to the here and here we have everything's ready for um, painting so uh, if i have this white color now and a default brush that is the draw brush what i can do is i can pick up any color that i want and i, I can start actually drawing like this and it will work uh, the only problem at this monkey head is that it's quite low fully and the vertex paint actually work on vertex so if i just want to draw a thin line here it won't work because there are not enough vertex it only works uh, with filling like these vertex so we need more vertex and more mesh uh, in order if we want to draw some smooth and uh, thick lines so that's the problem that we have with this mesh and now what we have to do is to come up here and add a subdivision modifier and let's make this one too and apply this one so usually this method is meant for a high pulley uh, painting a high pulley model that usually we do like the sculpted model so yeah it worked best for that as you can see it's also not that smooth for now so we would need some more dense place we can apply the subdivision modifier again and this time it's pretty high if i can see the statistic it's like damn high and now as you can see it we would be able to actually draw some really smooth lines like this but i won't recommend to do it that high poly uh, let's just redo that uh, I think the four subdivision actually work really good. So let's just do this four and apply this one. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We we are not going for that kind of details. So I think this would be enough. Okay, so this was the draw brush that we done, and we also have some blur brush, average, and smear brush. So these are similar brushes. If you did watched my texture paint video. If you are familiar with Photoshop or any 2D software, so these are really common brushes that we have. But still, I would show you some demo uh, that, for example, we did. Um, Sometimes we do a bit sharp edges and we want to make it blur. So for that, we can actually use this blur brush. So as you can see, this place is sharp. But if I draw this, so it will just blur and it work a kind of like smoothing that thing. So that's really helpful. Same goes for the average. So if we have two colors like this, um, let me just add a few multiple colors. And now we would go for the average and it actually try to um, like pick up all the colors and add a mid color like this. So yeah, maybe sometime it, it can be useful. As you can see, it's trying to mix these colors like that. Okay, and we have the smear one. It actually moved that area a bit. So sometimes, yeah, it worked like this and it fell a lot of area that we wanted. So we would be using these all tools. Uh, other than that, there are a few more, more tools that we have to know. Uh, the first one and the most important one is the uh, fill, fill effect. So for example, uh, this is our object and we want to fill first a base color so for that we have what we have to do is to pick up a color that we want 
for example it's a humanoid skin and we would go for something like this now we would click on paint and set vertex colors and as you can see it will fill the whole thing so after that we can do is that we can pick up any color that we want and we can just like try to fill that so this is really important a lot of people don't know this tool and they just try to like fill the whole thing by just brushing it but it's a bit hard and time taking so this is not the right way we have to fill that first okay this was one of the most important one another tool is the mask tool so for example i have to um okay so for example i have to fill these eyes with a black color so what 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 i have to do is to press l to select that and then go to the vertex pan mode and now if we turn on the masking here what we can do is we are now able to only mask with the with this one okay so the uh, other mesh won't affect like that um we can also fill this colors with the same tool so if i want to fill this with a green color what i have to do is to just mask this area and then click on paint and set vertex color so this would be the whole process uh, i think these are enough tool to show and after this we can actually start our exercise if you have any uh, issue or any questions you can comment down and definitely i will try to reply on that and now let's get start the exercise so i would be using a, a pen tablet for this one uh, it's recommended to use it but you can use the mouse as i was using it until now but i'm actually better at uh, drawing in that kind of stuff so I would be using that other than that the most will work fine so now let's get started so this is our sculpted mesh and we would first start by coming up here join this area and let's jump up to the vertex paint and we would fill an area I have these reference uh, you can pick many reference that you want so just do that I'm this will be on the second monitor that I have so I'm just looking at the reference and trying to pick up and fill some colors so this will be a black cat so first I would come up here and add a this dark color or maybe a bit more like this and now do this again yeah I think it's looking good okay now it's uh, time for the eyes let's first make this one the same object and then what we can do is to first L to select and come up here to the vertex band and we would add a okay so let's fill this color now select these eyes control plus 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 and now let's fill this one with yellow yeah something like that and we would do one more this time we can actually just draw that thing so
okay so a few tips here if you want to pick any color from any area you can just press shift and x and you can pick that color or what you can do is you can create this kind of color palette and we can save colors from here so if I just now pick a color just I did this one and I want a brighter version so I would make a brighter version and add a plus so I would save that color so next time if I want to use it I would just click on that and I can just simply pick that so that was a tip and now let's continue okay so once you completed your vertex painting what you can do here is to use that in rendering if we come up here and show in material view it won't preview the reason is that we have to create a node for it so shift a and add a color and attribute node and just connect this one to here and if you click here you would show this color vertex paint and now as you can see all our painting is now here what you can do here is that we can decrease the specular a bit and increase the roughness and I think yeah this is looking cool so you can spend some more time while painting and you can get more better result so that was it for it and hope you learned a lot from this video if you have any question you can comment that and I will reply for that. So thank you so much for watching and for now, bye.